Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, f everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Morning and welcome back to the channel. Richard's looking out the window. Sorry. I don't know who you're talking to. <laughs> and Hayley here. Still off asleep. <laughs> so uh, we're going to go on a little cruise today, but we're mainly going to do some jobs in preparation for summer. So our first thing that we're going to do is that lovely visit to the pump out. And what we decided, because we're now getting on really, really well, with our composting toilet is that we are going to completely flush out the pump out toilet um, we're going to do it with two tokens aren't we we're going to suck out what is in there um, and then fill up the tank with water flush and really it, flush it suck out it, flush properly. it because mm. what we have noticed is we when we've used it on a rare occasion now it absolutely stinks when you flush it I think <laughs> because it's been laying dormant for quite a while so we want to completely empty it flush it all out and uh, and then we can just carry on with our compost loo and that one would just be for emergencies so here we go lovely job as always Richard loves a pump out I think you should do it Amy says no <laughs> I have some concentration And if I make a mistake It's called education I try to do this every day Call it replication Wake up Today's gonna be a good day 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 Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. We're in the bathroom. Well, I'm inside the bathroom. Richard is outside the bathroom. Through the porthole. <laughs> and what we're doing is um, filling up the tank with water, first of all, because it wasn't, um, there wasn't much in it. Um, so we're going to fill it up so that it's sort of um, less concentrated, Watery. so it's a bit more diluted, and then uh, suck it out. Need a poop stirrer for the tank. Don't oh, <laughs> it does actually really stink. You want to be out here? Yeah, I'm better. Back is a bit of wind. <laughs> Not my wind. <laughs> so we're doing a little gauge recce, and once it's full, then we'll start the sucking process. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. So life ain't easy, y'all. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, yo Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though I always gotta fight and hide from the demons, yo Negative thoughts are poison, they ride, uh Head full of flaws, so here come the clouds, uh They'll never stop unless I can swap All the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost, uh. And like always, we've done the pump out, that was successful Exit marina. And you know Stage it. Stage right. And there's a regatta. Richard went, what? Because I checked the website. There was no regatta. Well, they didn't publish it. <laughs> I know what happens. I check the website, go, oh, all clear. And then they see that I've logged off and then they post it. <laughs> knowing I'm not going to see it again. Oh, well. And not only was, uh, luckily they sort of... It was went, easy to get out there. Yeah, they weren't going yet. They were all sort of um, waiting. But um, then I think from a, across the river, there were some higher boats coming out as well. And I think I got it on the front camera, higher boat heading directly for us, but I did manage to just swoop out the way in time, thank goodness. And then we just nearly had um, rowers rowing straight into the bow of our boat. Flat out they were going across the river, it's like, uh oh. <laughs> so Richard had to give them a two, and then luckily they realised, but I couldn't see them, I went up onto the roof and couldn't see them. Oh, they, they had their to... all oars in the water hanging <laughs> on for grim death trying to stop it because they were flying. Because they'd started to turn, hadn't yeah, they? Yeah, just but they didn't... skid down the side of us if you like. So. That was quite funny. Oh. They did apologise. They did, bless them. <laughs> they were laughing, they were like, oh, that was lucky. We almost went for a swim. 
So hopefully toilet tank all emptied now. Flushed it through a few times. Um, put some nice smelling stuff down it instead. Um, all clean today. Yeah. Oh, and um, a little tip actually. Um, I think we might have said before. Um, but Richard, you were speaking to somebody, wasn't you, that um, their system sort of got clogged up um, and their gauge stopped working. And we've never put toilet roll down our toilet. And I think you can improve the sort of longevity of the macerator and everything if you, if you don't. It's the sensor, the oh, gauge the sensor. Because it's a float that goes up and down like a pole. And of course, toilet roll gets all like paper mache I suppose yeah and yeah. it gets stuck in there and your gauge sticks so yeah I mean we we would always say it's best not to, to put toilet roll down your toilet just have a little bin and some bags it's easier isn't it do. yeah 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 so I'm a fake it till I make it positive thoughts are overtaken I got patience one day at a time is how you operate a cadence a flow you grow you show yourself a foundation stay away Shit that causes temptation I know that I like to do it cause of sensation I live my life in my head like a narration Don't expect greatness, do my best, man, I'll take it Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Never seen a real life beekeeper Never seen a beekeeper before <laughs> Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. So we've moored up, had a little bit of lunch because we were starving, and um, now we're going to start on some jobs. So a few vlogs are back, um, quite a while ago actually. We mentioned about the white build-up that you can get um, around sort of just above the, the waterline of your boat um, and was told that it's like a mineral build-up and that you can use eco limescale remover, gets rid of it completely. So that's job number one because we've got quite a bit of build-up now on the front of the boat. So Richard's uh, in the little boat <laughs> inspecting. <laughs> The bow. Cleaning. So where have you put the lime scale remover so far? Nothing. Yeah. So when I did it, I literally just put it on and just um, wiped it. I didn't even rinse it off. Did you? Yeah. Mm. I squirted it on and then scrubbed it. Because I want to do get all this off as well. Look. All this green muck. I might be here a while. <laughs> so, um, you've tried scrubbing brushes and all sorts, haven't you, on the green um, stuff that builds up? Yeah. And then you decided to just buy a little plastic scraper, and that seems to just get it off. Comes off, right? Yeah, better like... than the scrubbing brush does. Yeah. So, we have a bit of a problem with the paintwork um, of sort of along the gunnels of the boat. Um, it's a type of paint that is obviously non-slip but it rubs off, it's an absolute nightmare and once it's stained, so once you've got sort of footprints in it, they just don't want to come out. So Richard's bought me a little tin of just wooden metal paint, jet black, and I'm going to try it on one little section and see whether that works a bit better. <laughs> Looks like we're floating in the sky. <laughs> We've got our back cover up. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, summer is here well, today, anyway. Yeah. So um, we did lots of 
boat jobs yesterday. Richard um, had some plastic scrapers and uh, started scraping off the green stuff, didn't you? Yeah, it's coming up all right. Yeah, so it's that worked quite, quite well. Um, Lime scale remover was successful. It was just on the sort of front portion of the boat. Yeah, I ran out. And then we ran out of the uh, eco lime scale remover. So we need to get some more so we can finish that off. And um, I was going to say my painting went well, <laughs> um, but made a bit of a rookie mistake. So um, uh, Richard said to me, oh, it looks a bit shiny. And I was like, well, yeah, it's satin, <laughs> satin paint. He went, no, it's not, it's matte paint. And I said, no, it's definitely satin. He said, are you sure? <laughs> so he got the paint pot and he said, oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's satin. Picked Ooh. up the wrong one. Yeah. I picked so. up one and it said matte and it was a big pot. And I thought, oh, we don't need that much. It's only a tester, really. So I put that one down and picked up the one next to it that, yeah. I picked up the satin one the and satin not the matte one. one. So it does look better, but the problem is our original paint is like a chalkboard paint, they said. It goes grey, it doesn't goes it? Grey it looks and it's old. It's really awful and old. Um, so it does look better, but the problem is because it's a satin, <laughs> you can really see the brush marks. Yeah. So we need to go and get the matte one get and paint matte. over what we've already painted. Yeah. Oh but well. I'm going to show you the difference anyway because um, and you can see the difference between between the chalkboard paint and some much better quality paint. So I'll show you. So this is the, what they call chalkboard paint. And it's supposed to be black, but it's really gray. And you can't clean it. And you can't clean it. So all those marks, they just don't come off. So that's that one. And now I'll take you around. Just say hello to Richard on the way. <laughs> just chilling. My shoes have been in the way. <laughs> and that's where it's been painted, but you can see the brush marks. So uh, yeah, we need to get some matte paint, but it does look better. I step outside. We went all the way along the boat but unfortunately you can see brush marks so uh, mm. yeah we'll be doing that again won't we yeah but you can see the color here from there to there <laughs> yeah it does look better so in one of our um, vlogs not that long ago we um, I told you about an exciting trip coming up, <laughs> going down the river way and then attempting the basing stoke. Well, we've done some research into that yeah. and um, the basing stoke is not that easy to try and travel on, which is a real shame. So basically <laughs> you cannot, you're not allowed to operate the locks yourself. Um, so you have to wait until they are manned and then they're only manned on certain days. Certain lock flights on certain days and certain times. And certain times Normally as like well. half nine to half one. So... You need to go on a week. Yep. And so there's a boat with lots of dogs and they're all woofing. And um, so yeah, they just don't make it easy to go on the Basingstoke Canal. Basically because um, of the days that we wanted to go, we would have, well, we might have been able to get through, but we wouldn't be able, we to, wouldn't get back be able again. to get home. You can't go for a weekend, you have to go for a week. Yeah. It is easy, but you have to do the week. Yeah. And you otherwise to... you can't get back off. It's a shame because if you sad. could operate the locks yourself, then it would be far more accessible. So we're going to do the way again, which will be funny in itself. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're Get not going to be days. doing the basin stoke, unfortunately. Not this year. No. So when we've got more time, maybe. Yeah. Anyway, final thing for today. Richard is obsessed with the fire. He loves to mm. have the fire on, and he is now quite sad that yeah. it's getting warm and we really Just don't need let me the have the fire. fire on. No, I've told him we're not having the fire on now. <laughs> not in 23 nice. degrees. So, um, <laughs> cleaning your chimney. Yeah, we've got to clean that this. out for. So we'll show you how to end a winter clean season. The chimney. Oh, mm. Don't take long. Well, Richard, will show you how to clean the chimney. It's I don't quite do clean dirty anyway. Jobs. <laughs> Not that day. <laughs> so we're going to go up on the roof.
Okay, I've just been informed that step one is to close your fireplace and all the vents on the fireplace. So Richard's done that already. Yeah. And now over to him. So Richard's already taken the chimney off. So this is what you get. A little hole. That's Technical big term hole, and all that. <laughs> oh, he's got tools. Somewhere down here. There's a brushy thing. brushy thing oh. and then you screw this on <coughs> shove that down there and Richard becomes a chimney sweep I feel like we just need to sing chim chimney chim chimney no well you can do <laughs> see the, the easiest way is you put a drill on the end of it right and then it spins it whilst it's in there otherwise you've just got to go like this Chimney sweep back in the day. <coughs> oh, that's why they didn't live very long, did they? Not surprised. Yeah. Knock it all off into the bottom. <laughs> well, it goes into the fire then, we can hoover it out. Yeah. So when you're not here, I'll hoover it out with your hoover. It's not yeah. using my new hoover. No. Shh, won't tell her. There you go, cleaning the chimney. Very dirty job. Oh, that's horrible. So that's it for this week's vlog. Job's done. Job's done for now. There's always jobs to do. <laughs> One thing, we were talking to um, our friends on their liverboard. <coughs> They've kitted it out themselves. And uh, she said to me, God, it's always so dusty. I'm forever cleaning. <laughs> You um, do. Now we've got a different type of white fluff coming in at the moment of the trees, so yeah, we've just sort of given up really and just let the let fluff blow around. Yeah, um, it'll go in a week or so and then yeah. we can move it up and move on. Yeah. <laughs> then it'll just be normal dust. <laughs> so uh, we are going to enjoy the rest of the sunshine because it's a lovely day, so we're going to clock off now. <laughs> but like always, give us that cheeky little like. Hit that subscribe button and ping the notification bell. <laughs> Bang the bell. <laughs> <laughs> Bang the bell. <laughs> ping. And we'll see you Sweet. next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.